The use of formulas is sometimes confusing, especially when you have a word problem in front of you that consists of using a certain formula. The period of a pendulum is no exception to this matter. The formulas shown here are h squared equals a squared plus b squared. Also, t equals 2 pi times the square root of l over g. These are the two formulas that are needed in the process of finding the period of a pendulum. To start the problem, we have to know the key vocabulary. In this drawing, we see a right triangle with h, a, and b. H is a hypotenuse, or in other words, the longest side of a right triangle. The first step. This is an isosceles triangle with the legs 12.5 meters and the base 15 meters. If we cut this triangle in half, it is a right triangle. The first thing we are going to do is divide the base by 2 so that we know what the B or L is. The second step, chug and plug. The formulas that have been analyzed is shown. And then under that, we see how to replace the variable for numbers. H is the leg, 12.5. A is the base, divided by 2, 7.5. And we want to find B. The next step is to square everything, including meters. To find B, we will subtract 156.25 meters squared by 56.25 meters squared. The answer is 100. Next, we don't want the answers to be B squared, only B. To take out the squared, we must square root everything on both sides. The answer is 10 meters equal B. The next formula that is going to be used is t equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Here is a key vocabulary. t is period, pi is 3.14, L is the length of the string, G is the acceleration due to gravity, which is 10 meters per second squared. Third step, plug and chug. You can see the substitution for pi for 3.14, L for 10 meters, and G for 10 meters per second squared. As well, you can see canceling out 10 divided by 10 is 1, and meters divided by meters cancels out. Here we can cancel out square root by the squared, and 3.14 is multiplied by 2. The answer to this problem is 6.28 seconds.